It's the Games and Grabs podcast. This week, we talk Resident Evil 2, discuss the problem with Xbox One, and your predictions for NXT TakeOver Phoenix, and this Sunday's Royal Rumble. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to the Games and Grabs podcast. This is episode 88. I'm Sonny, and with me, as always, is Finn Steele. Hello! Finn, how you doing? I'm doing okay, thank you. How are you? I'm good. Good. Very good. Excellent. L- look at us. We're live on actual video uh, YouTube. Hello. We have shiny microphones. Yes, shiny microphones, shiny mic stands and stuff. Yeah, we're, we're, we're now professionals. Yes, finally. Took a look at it. It's taken us nearly two years, <laughs> but now we are professionals officially yes. professionals two years 88 episodes but we're here we did it. yes <laughs> yes finally <laughs> um yeah so this is uh the hopefully the the start of a you know a nice long string of very well produced episodes hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> <It's hoping. laughs> fingers crossed yeah fingers crossed finn hello um what have you been playing this week uh what indeed a few things actually um it's about two came out yesterday okay oh it's good so good <laughs> it's so oh good. My God, so um, good when, yeah, so Resident Evil 2, one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, and yeah, now we made it into amazing HD, Super 4K, HDR, amazingness. Um, and yeah, it's just so good. It's so, so good. Um, just play it. <laughs> if you haven't played it, go play it. It's, it's so good. Um, I, I think it's the perfect remake. It really is. Yeah, it's a way to do remakes, for sure. Uh, I've started on the hardcore mode, which is uh, difficult. Really difficult. Uh, yeah, I've not. No. <laughs> limited saves, uh, more take more damage and stuff like that. Uh, but I like it. It's, it's classic. Like you get ink ribbons, like you do in the old old games. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just awesome. Um, did lose about four, forty-five minutes worth of progress last night. <laughs> Always good. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Made a mistake. Backtrack into an old area, and the old area now had a bunch of zombies in it, and I used basically all my ammo and stuff, and that's no health left. Like, well, might as well load my game. <laughs> start, start again. Gotta but, love when that yeah. happens. Yeah, it's good though. I love, I love that kind of thing. I love you know just. Classic survival horror. Yeah. Good stuff. It's really, really good. I mean, the graphics are they're really beautiful. Yeah. Uh, it looks great in 4K, HDR, all, that, all the bells and whistles. Yep, yep. Uh, it plays great. The camera is further away than it was in the 30-minute demo. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice that until someone pointed it out. I was like, oh, yeah. It's not by much. There's not yeah. a lot in it, but it is uh, it is definitely further away. Yeah. Um, yeah it's, it's, so it's more like Resident Evil 4. Yeah, I guess so. You Which can, is fine. Yeah, you can adjust it in these things, I think. Yeah, 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 sure. By the way, but um, it's it's just so good. I mean, I, I'm taking my time and you know ex- trying to look through every nook and cranny to make sure I don't miss collectibles and <laughs> and stuff like that. And it's just and so ammo. great, you know. Yeah, I'm, I'm just scarce in that game. It's not hardcore mode. It might be on hardcore mode, but <laughs> for me, I mean, I'm walking around. I got about thirty bullets at the minute. Oh, really? Yes. I went no ammo. <laughs> but I am playing on standard wimpy mode, so that's fair. Finn, uh, Finn wants that platinum. I do. I want that plat. Give it to me. You'll get it. I'll get it. I'll get it one day. Yeah. You got the Resident Evil 7 one, didn't you? Uh, I did, yes. Yeah. That was fun. I loved the game. Great uh, game. So good. What else am I playing? Um, I'm playing the Persona 3 Dancing in Moonlight, Starlight, one of those. Uh, game. It's so good. <laughs> I love the games anyway. Persona music is well excellent. Um, and yeah, just the, the just seeing like the Persona 3 characters reimagined in like 4K again just look, looks amazing. So if we make please. This is definitely nice. something that I yeah. want to check out eventually. Yeah. Um, I'm just gonna steal it from you once I've finished Moss and you've done with that. Yeah. Um, so but is... it's something I definitely want to check out. I have played it very briefly at EGX last year, but it was uh, I liked it. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, it's so good. I mean, I I love rhythm games anyway, just like you. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just, yeah. I mean, it's just one of those things that I don't know what it is with rhythm games. I will play literally anything. It's... Like any rhythm game, I will just play it. Yeah. Like if it's got music and you have to tap buttons in, in time with it, then I'm there. Yeah, Regardless of what it is, or how weird the music is, or anything like that, I am there. Same here. Uh, yeah, all the songs on there are excellent. Apart from one, which is supposed to be a remix of the like original opening sound, uh, music, but it sounds nothing like it, and it's just weird noise. And it's like, oh, well, like it's, it's the first are out of place, but all the songs are excellent. It's just one weird garbage song. Like, okay, never play that one again. <laughs> it was bizarre, but other than that, it was all excellent. You sound like an old, old person there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this new music today just sounds like weird noise. Yeah, it's all this Jack Snow music. Oh, Ugh, remix. Oh, <laughs> give me the original any day. Much better than back in my day. You know? <laughs> <laughs> when you're playing Persona in black and white. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, what else? Play a bit more of the Grand Tour game. Um, it's like, good, right? It's good. It's far better than it deserves to be. It's like twelve pounds. It's based on a TV show. It should be garbage. 
Yeah, yes. it, I mean, what, that just those words that he used then, like that game is supposed to be terrible. Let's yeah. not let's be honest about it. <laughs> it's, it's not good. It's not supposed to be good. No, no, it has no right to be good. <laughs> and yes, somehow it's pretty fun. It's really fun. Like I've found myself really, really enjoying it. Yeah. Uh, really enjoying the the episodes as well. I mean, I like the show anyway. I always liked oh, Top yeah. Gear with those guys. I like the Grand Tour. Um, but the way that the game seamlessly uh, transitions between show and game and then game back to show uh it's just it's really really clever and it's a really cool idea yeah, it's cool, right? but it's not a driving sim no. it's it's like a fun arcadey racer so like when you have races against um like the other two hosts you can pick up like mario kart style collectibles <laughs> yeah, yeah. and and use use those power ups and it's it's really really interesting and it's really fun like, like there's one one of uh, one of the power ups is like you send a text to the other drivers, oh, yeah. and like when that's used against you, like a massive text message of insult just like comes across the screen, yeah. and it's just it handles well. It looks good. It looks. I mean, it lo- I think it looks better than a budget tile. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it didn't look. It looked like, not like um. It's not Forza, Forza good, but... or Gran Turismo or anything like that. But no, it's it, fine. It's it's not like. Is that a, a tree or a rock or a horse or something? It's like it's nothing like that. It's like it's really good. Yeah. Like I'm playing it and just having a blast with it. Yeah, me too. And you know, all things pretty doable. The platinum seems doable. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Um, the 50 wins of these characters might be a bit, a bit of a grind and get up to in split screen mode, but that's fine. It's like it's grind it out. If you turn out day. No, that's fine. To be fair, I mean, all we need to do is when you come to mine, we'll have a split screen race. Yeah. And when I come, when I'm here, we'll do a split screen race yeah. and get that trophy. Yeah. To be fair, I think you do it by yourself. Just love like playing against AI and stuff. Oh, fine. Yeah. Fine, if you don't want to play with me, then that's like, well... I'll play with you. I'm sitting here with him, and he's like, well, just play by myself. <laughs> Fuck right off. <laughs> <laughs> I love playing with myself. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> what? what? Um, <laughs> First video podcast back, and already it's transcended into uh, pervy nonsense. But we, we wouldn't have it any other way. Of course, no. So no. Uh, going, going, you know, Games of Grass podcast, classic, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yes. Um, <laughs> what are we talking about? Um, video games, yes. Um, what else have I played? I've played something else as well. I can't remember. How about you? What have you been playing? Um, I played a few different bits this week. Uh, I played... Uh, what have I been playing, actually? I played some WWE 2K19. Um, I'm still really enjoying it. Just Again, like last week, I was just playing random matches on it. Uh, I played Shaq Fu. Why? Uh, well, it was the remake, <laughs> not the bloody original. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I picked it up for like... I had points on my game card. Ah. And it cost me less than three quid. You shop a game? Well, I... <laughs> <laughs> you shop a game? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, so I bought it. And it cost me like less than three quid. Fair. Uh, so I've been playing it, and it's fine. It's just a side-scrolling beat 'em up that is fine, based on a basketball <laughs> player yeah. uh, and a remake of an old game that is largely considered one of the worst games in the his- history of video games. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah, but this <laughs> one is okay. It's fun enough. Um, Better. That there isn't really a lot to say about it other than it is fun enough. Uh, there will be a video of me playing it going on to uh, our YouTube channel, uh, the Games and Grabs YouTube channel. So uh, check that out. Yes. And uh, make a, make make your own judgment on it. Cool. Uh, I've been playing a game this morning that I got sent uh, called New Star Manager. Now that's a football management game for Nintendo Switch from the people that made New Star Soccer, which is a, a mobile game. And it's a really, really good mobile game. It's like one that I think was quite popular amongst football fans, not nerds like Finn. (laughs) And um, when I saw that they were making a management game, I sort of reached out to them and they sent the code uh, yesterday, a couple of days ago. And it's really, really great. Cool. Um, It's super addictive. Uh, I lost a couple of hours of my morning to it. But it just works really well. I mean, the tutorial... Like makes it sound more complicated than it actually is. It's like you gotta press this button to do this and this button to do that. And I was like, it doesn't need to be that complicated. Yeah. But then when you actually get the freedom to play the game yourself, uh, it really isn't complicated at all. And it's just, it's just really good fun. It's super addictive. Uh, anybody who likes football and football management games will really like it. It's a game that you could definitely lose a lot of hours to. Uh, it comes out on January the 31st. No idea how much it's going to be. I assume it's going to be fairly cheap, considering it is, um, for lack of better term, it's not, and I don't want to, this isn't a bad thing, but it's a glorified mobile game. Oh, that's fair. 
Okay, so that, that, that's what it is. And But it works so well on Switch. So if you've got a Switch and you like football management and you don't want to shell out 30 quid for football manager, you can go and get new style manager when it hits on January the 31st. And I do really recommend it. I think it's really great. Cool. Fair enough. Uh, been playing Resident Evil 2, like yourself. Good choice. Uh, and... Leon or Blair? Uh, Leon. Cool, me too. Yeah. It's a great choice. Leon A, Claire B. Because... Leon's the first choice on the menu, and I wanted to do it that way. Okay. That was literally my reasoning behind it. Yeah, it's a bit, I always play as Leon first, then Claire, like Leon A, Claire B. Um, it's got that order to do it, so that's how I'm doing it now. Yeah, so I, to be honest, <laughs> pretty much the same. Yeah. Um, I also played Celeste. Oh, nice. And oh my god, it's so good. It's so good. Like you said, it was good, and obviously it was in your games of the year. So I thought, okay, well, it's free on Xbox, so I'll just play it. Yeah, why not? And it's really, really good. Uh, I love the way that it looks. and uh, Mechanically, it plays really well. It's just fun. Okay. Uh, it's hard. But it's not, it's not hard. It's challenging. Yeah. It's it like, makes you think. Yeah, it's not like a puddle sometimes. It's just like, oh, how do I get over there from here to over there? Yeah. Using my limited jumps. It's like, oh, yeah. I've been here. And it's vast cool. as well. So there's, like, there's a lot of... Like, obviously, you know, there is a distinct path that you need to take. Hmm. But there are collectibles to be had around... The, the you know the various levels and I don't know it's just, it's just really fun it's it it's challenging but not too hard and it's just a lot of fun to play cool. and uh, I'm I'm really glad that I did decide to play it excellent um, otherwise well, to be honest I've not had an awful lot of time to play much else I mean I've been so. dipping in and out of Smash a little bit oh yeah Smash always Smash uh, but otherwise I've not really had much uh, much time on my hands so the gaming time that I have had I've sort of been dipping in and out of different things. Um, just in, just enjoying enjoying myself until I get some a real good chunk of time to sit down and actually play through. I mean, I'm going to try and dedicate as much time as I can to Resident Evil 2 and get that oh, yeah. done. Excellent, yeah. Uh, we also played uh, Mario Kart briefly online. We did, um, actually, yeah. And mostly got our hand, our hand to us. I don't think we were that bad. <laughs> we were all right. We, we did okay. We Remember that time we finished first and second? Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I mean, every time we finish second, every race. Oh yeah, every race. Yeah, yeah, yeah every, every race. race. Yeah, yeah like, just taking it in turns, first and second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. I think what else? Oh, okay. I think that's about it. Yeah, we should definitely do more Mario Kart, more yeah. Switch stuff online because uh, it's fun. Yeah, it's so good. Really, really fun. Excellent. Cool. Um, trying to get oh gaming news. Um, so yesterday, uh, Nintendo announced that Metroid Prime Four oh. um has um. It has had its development completely restarted and moved developers. So originally it was Bandai Namco, I think we were making it, and now it's, they've scrapped that, and now it's gone back to Retro Studios. You made the first three games. Um, so it's a shame it's been restarted, but at the same time, I'm also kind of glad it's come back to Retro, because Retro have proven to be excellent at making Metro games. So, um, yeah, I'm, I think I'm happy. I think it's a good thing overall. I think it's, it's a good run. thing. I mean, it's ballsy from Nintendo. Yeah. Um, and it was, it was, it was bold of them, uh, for them to just come out and be like, look, we weren't happy with the way that production was going going on. Yeah. Um. So we're just going back to the drawing board with it. Yeah. I th- are you sure it wasn't in house that they were doing it? Um. I'm pretty sure it was Namco it might have been in house. I'm not sure. But, okay. Uh, well, either way, the you know the production has restarted from scratch, which is, I mean, which means we are not going to get Metroid Prime for for um while. a long time. Okay. I mean, I think we're probably looking at two or three years. Yeah, it's going to be a while. But it'll be good. It comes out. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, we we say this all the time. If games are delayed, then it's being delayed for a reason, yeah. and obviously to make the game better. Um, if if a game, I mean, if they, it, it couldn't have been good and up to Nintendo standards if they have decided to halt production completely and yeah. go from the the very beginning again. Yeah, seriously, it just couldn't have been good. Yeah. So time will tell how long. It's going to take, but um, it's, it's going to be years away. Definitely. Um, yeah. I have a gaming-related question to ask you, actually. Okay. And it's just something that it bothers me, because uh, obviously with Microsoft, they don't have that many exclusives coming to Xbox, especially this current generation, at least. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And uh, with Crackdown 3 okay. is due on the 15th of February, so that's okay. just a couple of weeks away now. And I've barely seen any promo for it at all. Yeah, same. Now... Sony have got Days Gone coming in April, and I've been seeing Days Gone since it was first announced. Yeah, can't escape it. So, wh- what is it? What is it with Microsoft and these exclusives? I mean, is it a case that Crackdown 3 is going to be a bad game? Mm. Well, I mean, I, it's been coming for a while. Wasn't it like one of the first games they announced for the Xbox One, like way back? Yeah, pretty much, <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's been in development so long, and yet we've seen nothing about it at all. It's, yeah, it's not good. 
It can't afford to be bad, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, it needs it needs to be good because Xbox has nothing right now. There's no new Halo games coming out. There's no new Gears of War games coming out. And well, there is. Is there? Yeah. No. Oh. There's a Gears Five coming out. Okay. And there's a Halo game coming out. As well. Not anytime soon, though. Let's look. It's, it's a ways off. This year. Is it? Gears Five's coming this year, I think. Yeah. Uh, okay. Cool. I think Halo is as well. News to me. Microsoft aren't very good at showing news about. No, that's games. it. And that, that, that's that, that's <laughs> the thing that no bothers me. That. So it's like they they announced these games. I think at E3. Yeah. Uh, that they they showed quite a decent chunk of Gears. To be fair. Okay. And that's definitely coming this year. I think maybe the back end of. Oh, although yeah, I'm not 100 percent sure. Yeah, it's just called right Gears Five. It isn't called Gears of War. Ah, uh, yeah, I do remember that now. Name is it, yeah. Um, I need to finish Gears of War 4. It's bothering me that I haven't done it because I've done the rest. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember uh, either. No, no, we were doing it together. And then right, yeah, yeah. We, because you made me do it on... the diff- Remember when we started it on, like, hardcore mode? Oh, yeah. And it was just the impossible. most impossible game ever. <laughs> yeah, yeah. God, it was... <laughs> we, we couldn't get, like, about 40 yards without being, like, blown to pieces. It was uh, ridiculous. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty difficult. Pretty difficult, yeah. I mean, that, that's putting it politely, I think. Yeah, yeah. Um, but what is it? Why don't they open? I mean, I saw a lot for Forza. Forza was everywhere. Oh yeah. But why isn't Crackdown everywhere? This is the, I think probably the only exclusive they've got coming this quarter. So yeah. Q1, that's all they've got is Crackdown. It's, yeah, is it going to be crap? Probably. I mean, first Crackdown was excellent. I loved it. Second Crackdown was so excellent. <laughs> Less excellent. Um, Crackdown 3 needs if there's going to be a Crackdown 4 Crackdown 3 needs to be really really good um, but the fact that we've seen nothing since it's been announced basically um, yeah it's, I can't see it being good yeah I'm worried for it to yeah, be honest I'm I mean worried. State of Decay although I enjoyed it was buggy and it had problems yeah. uh, fresh out the gate which is a shame because the idea of it is really good uh, well, the ex- it, I mean it might be better now I haven't played it since um, but it was it was jittery yeah but I enjoyed it what I played I thought it was good um, but again, I think those bugs hindered its review scores. Uh, Forza obviously is excellent and did really well. I mean, it's obviously in the high, it's in the 90s on, uh, as far as Metacritic goes, and it's always Microsoft's highest rated exclusive. Yeah. Whereas, obviously, I mean, but that's the problem with it. There's no real consistency there. Whereas you have the Sony games, like the, the Sony first party exclusives, or, you know, even just the Sony exclusives. Uh, the PlayStation 4 exclusives, um, they're always very highly rated, whereas the Microsoft ones just aren't. They're, they're, they're very hit and miss. Yeah. Now, like like I said, Crackdown is, what are we on today? January the 25th today? 26th today. 26th. Yes. Um, Crackdown is coming out February the 15th. Ooh, that's like... Not Nothing to be seen anywhere. <laughs> yeah. I've, not, I've barely seen it on their Twitter, on their, any of their social medias. <laughs> and it's really concerning. Because the amount of times it's been delayed, and now we're seeing nothing of it three by like three weeks out. Yeah. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> so I just typed in a, a Crackdown 3 gameplay, uh, and anything on there is from 2015. Wow. Whoa, really? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's really the first thing on there from IGN. <laughs> um, well, what's something in 2018? Is that 2018? XO18? Is that an Xbox thing? Yeah. Oh, okay. So they have to change something. It's like one minute of gameplay, so it's not much, but <laughs> hmm. it's something, I guess. I think Microsoft now are basically gearing up for the next batch of Xbox consoles. Because obviously they're acquiring a lot of studios uh, and people from other studios. So, I mean, the future is promising, but the, this, the, the track record this generation with exclusives has been poor. Uh, yeah. But the, the crackdown thing was really bothering me because, I mean, I... I'm not a Crackdown fan. I mean, I didn't like the first one. No. Um, to be honest, I probably didn't give it a chance, in all honesty. But uh, I have it. It's, it was free on Xbox <laughs> at one point. And they've actually 4K'd it as well. They've Xbox One X enhanced it. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but I still I still haven't played it. Maybe I should give it a chance. Maybe. If you said it was good. Yeah, I like the first one. It's cool. Um, looking at the gameplay footage now. Um, it looks fine. It's fine. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But we'll see. I, I can't imagine it's going to be a scoring high. I mean, it's, it's, it's game past day one, so we're going to get to play it anyway. That's fair. So, uh, we'll, we'll see what it's like. Maybe even stream it, just to give our thoughts on it while we play it, I guess. Yeah, why not? But uh, I just wanted to ask you that question, because it was just something that was bothering me. I wanted to get your take on it. Yeah. But yeah, it might, might, might have been a bit weird by now, a bit shady. But uh, yeah, interesting. They need more next gen, otherwise I can't see there being an Xbox after that. Uh, no, I'd be surprised, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the emphasis 
next generation for Microsoft needs to be games. Yeah, definitely. It's fresh out of the gate. Nothing else, just games. Yeah, Xbox 360 had loads of awesome games. On it. I think Xbox 360 was miles better than the PS3. Yeah, yeah, so good. And now it's just... They had all that momentum going in and they just lost it all. <laughs> like they, lost it all. they fucked it by just going very heavy on the other stuff that the console could do. Yeah, true, yeah. Look at all these movies we can stream. Yeah, look yeah, at all these sports you can watch. Like, I don't want to do that shit. I just yeah. want to play games. <laughs> exactly. I'm Xbox not... I, I have a box for watching TV. <laughs> yeah. It comes with my TV subscription. It's, uh... like, the box that I buy, I want to play games on. Exactly, yeah. And that's what they need to focus on fresh out the gate. And they need to be like, these are the exclusives that we've got coming. It's going to be amazing. And advertise the shit out of them. They've got money. They can advertise. Oh, yeah. Like they're 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 quick to get their um, advertisements on third parties, oh, yeah. like the EA yeah. stuff. Obviously, they've got that locked because you know, Battlefield and FIFA and all that sort of stuff. They do tend to be, um, maybe not so much FIFA. No, FIFA as well. I don't know who cares. But um, you know, <laughs> the, you see a lot of adverts and they do have the Xbox logo attached to it. So why don't you just advertise your first party games like that as well? Make people yeah. give a shit about them. Make Sea of Thieves look a big deal. Make yeah. State of Decay look a big deal. Yes, that's the problem they have. It's like all the all the exclusions they do have always come out with like low review scores and it's not great out of the box. Like Sea of Thieves is the same. It's like well, I thought it was high behind it and then it came out. It's like scored like six and sevens out of ten. It's like it's fine, but yeah. I mean we had fun when we yeah, played we had it. Fun. Yeah, it was good. I quite yeah, like but... to be honest. I would quite like to revisit it together. Yeah, yeah. But, um, not better than uh, it was back then. Probably, yeah. yeah. It's probably like Destiny. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but <sighs> they just don't do themselves any favors. Give us a great game out of the box. Yeah, exactly. We need it when the next Xbox comes along. You need you need comes along. Needs a lot, like at least three or four good exclusive games. Uh, yeah, from the get go. I mean, Halo usually always very good. Yeah. Um, Gears of War always very good. Yeah. yeah, always rate very highly. But you need to have exclusives outside of those exclusives. Yes. To it isn't just shoot the bad men. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's because a bit unique and different. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So we all know what Halo and Gears of War is about. Yeah, you shoot dudes and for and Forza. Yeah, they're fine. They're always going to be good. Now give us something new, like you know, like Uncharted had the the Last of Us. Uh, sorry, uh, PS, the it's PlayStation like had Uncharted and the Last of Us. Yeah, yeah. You know, um, and they are now PlayStation staples. Like people, you know, have them exclusive to PlayStation and and they're awesome. Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> something you know like that. I mean, Quantum Break could have been great. Was just okay. Yeah, I've gone trying my Quantum Break. Could like that's even the thing. Yeah, I mean, exactly. Yeah. Should have been great. All day through and uh, still don't remember it. Played good. <laughs> played well. I think it's alright, yeah. But, again, you don't. people don't care about it. People don't remember it. People don't have fond memories of it like The Last of Us. No. Or Uncharted. It's like, it was like, it played about a couple of hours and then it's done. Like, yeah. Okay, cool. That's that then. Yeah, yeah. Everyone, so no, that was fun, yeah. <laughs> Next. Yeah, I mean... I mean, I'm a big Xbox. I'm a big Xbox fan. I, play, I use my Xbox One X more than I use my PS4. Yeah. But... I play. I mainly play third parties on it. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Who knows? So, yeah, anyway, I just uh, I just wanted your opinion. That's all. Yeah, interesting. Uh, so yeah, that's video games, pretty much. Yeah, um, basically. Yeah. So wrestling. This weekend is the Royal Rumble. It's a big weekend of wrestling this and weekend. NXT takeover. Whatever place it is. That Phoenix. Now. Phoenix. There you go. Yes, thank you. Um. So yeah, let's quickly go through ones back down before we do uh, predictions and stuff. Yep. So Raw. Uh, Brock actually turned up this week. Turns out. So that was still employed. Yeah, good yeah. stuff. <laughs> um, so Heyman was there. Something, something. Finn Balor's gonna lose at Rumble. Skipped it. Sorry, Paul. Um, so he was interrupted by Vince McMahon, who mentions about David and Goliath because you know wrestling. Physically. They've got big guy and the small guy is always David Goliath. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, of course. Uh, Paul says never read a Bible. Funny. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> Enjoyed good. that. Yeah. Uh, Vince insults, insults the locals as he does. Paul says he's speaking too fast for them again. Funny. I like Paul. <laughs> yep. It's very good. Uh, Sister Finn Balor has no chance of beating Brock at the Rumble. Uh, I don't know, I think I'll take him. Uh, <laughs> uh, so he was interrupted <laughs> by Braun Strowman. And Braun Strowman says, I'm going to beat Brock when Finn's, Finn's losing. And Finn's going to be out and says, I'm going to beat Brock at the Rumble. And then you have to fight for me. And then Vince makes a match between Finn and Braun. Which is weird because that wasn't the reason Braun got taken out of the Rumble. was because he wasn't cleared to wrestle. And yet now he's having a match against Finn Balor. Oh, you know what? That <laughs> didn't even <laughs> enter my brain until yeah. now. <laughs> You're so right, weird. actually. Yeah. So I'm not sure why Bradley uh, Bourne got taken out of the Rumble in that case. But, uh, Shrug. Who knows? So Finn vs. Bourne happens. Um, it's a good match. Uh, stands, pretty much standard, like, big man vs. little man match. Uh, Bourne on top. Most of the matches in Finn, I guess, in quick shots. Uh, at one point, Finn gets thrown over the top rope into the waiting arms of Brock Lesnar and suplexed. And then the match ends in a DQ. 
Except, no, it doesn't, because the ref is blind. Yeah. <laughs> the ref just, saw this happen. He's looking right at him. The song gets two blessed. It's like, well, match continues, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Finn, you're going to get counted out. One. <laughs> yeah. <He's> like, what? <laughs> yeah. This is just as bad as that referee and cock-up the other week on SmackDown yeah. when Jeff Hardy was definitely counted out for 10, maybe even 20. Yeah, nice. Yeah, nice. and Samoa Joe's like, come on, ref. Yeah, and the ref's like, don't know what you're talking about, ref. Don't know about, you know, <laughs> yeah. new rules. It's so weird. So apparently you don't get DQ'd anymore. Yeah. Uh, so Brock had to stay off against Spawn Swimmin, and then Finn uh, attacks Brock, pulling off the apron, and attacks, knocking him down. Uh, the match continues. Finn hits a coup de grace onto Braun, about to get with the pin, but Brock interrupts, uh, give him an F5, and then it really does end in DQ. Oh! Second time's a charm, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> maybe you just can't get DQ'd outside the ring anymore. Yeah, I guess so. Maybe not. Yeah. New, new rules. rules. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sure. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> the, the problem that's I have it. with it, <laughs> like if the ref didn't see it and like like it didn't happen, then that's fine. Yeah. But the ref was looking straight at it. There was nothing, no, just, yes. no reason at all why uh, why uh, Braun shouldn't have been disqualified and Finn would have won the match. Yeah, it's so weird. Anyway, so we had uh, Bobby Lashley doing some poses in the ring. The Almighty. Does. The Almighty. Um, he gets uh, interrupted by himself on the future. Uh, oh no, wait, that's Apollo Cruz. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> They're kind of very similar, both bold, uh, except Paul has a beard, so it looks like him but in a few years, and maybe shrunk a little bit, I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> so they would pose off, which is pretty funny, actually. Um, it's very Scott Steiner and Triple H, um, No Way Out 2003 circa. How about specific? Yes, well um, <laughs> um Awful match, by the way. Yeah, wasn't great. Um, so, yeah, they pose, it's a bit weird. Uh, Blackley attacks, and then the match happens. Um, it was fine, but it should be given more time, I think. So it's very short and over Um Apollo does his flippy shit, as he does. Sure. Uh, tried to lift Lashley up, uh, but kind of stumbled. Ooh. Poor Apollo. Uh, tried again, and succeeded, succeeded, uh, which is good. Lee Rush gets involved. Um, Apollo lifts him up, turns around into a spear by Lashley, and Lashley wins. Um, so yeah, interesting match. Very short. Yeah, um, I think what they're trying to do is obviously establish... Lashley is a dominant champion. Yeah. The problem I have with that is that don't get Leo Rush involved every time. Um, yeah, yeah. Because Leo Rush is helping him win matches. Yeah, I'm okay with that though. I think it makes sense. I am, but it doesn't look last, make Lashley look very dominant. Hmm. I don't know. That's maybe the point. Who knows? Who knows? What's the point? Uh, the fact that uh, Lashley can't win without Leo. People are going to say, oh, you can't win without him, so ban him from ringside and then we'll fight. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, but Lashley's like a big hulking dude. He is. Like he's bigger than me, you, t- combined twice over. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, he is. <laughs> hmm. I yes. don't know. I like Lashley a lot. I want to see Leo Rush wrestle on Raw. Um. Yeah. I mean, he wrestles, wrestles all the time on Two Hundred Five. It's good. Yeah. It's very good. Uh. Yeah. So yeah, that'd be good. Maybe a tag team match with him and Bobby Lashley or something. Yeah. And get to follow him. Or just Paul. have the cruiserweight title on Raw. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Have him win that. I'm, t- I'm telling you, that's that's what they should do. Yeah. Have them both as champions. Yeah, why not? That'd be awesome. Yeah. Cool. Um, so when Seth Rollins comes out, um, cuts a promo, I'm going to win the Rumble. Yeah. The McIntyre interrupts his, and says, no, I'm going to win the Rumble. Yeah, I mean, this is basically what the Raw before the Raw Rumble <laughs> is. <laughs> Pretty much. We're hey, gonna win the everyone's going to win the Raw Rumble. Yes. Everybody. So we have... Cameraman, uh, ring, bell, person. Me. Finn. Yeah, <laughs> everyone. Everyone. Uh, so we have McIntyre versus Wallins, which is a excellent match. Um, side note, I really like the like reverse Alabama slam that um, uh, McIntyre uses. Yeah, it's good. It's really cool. I like it. Isn't That's... it strange that like that kind of thing just happens now? Like he did it to the outside of the ring. Yeah, yeah. It's like, oh, this is just a normal thing that happens mid match nowadays. Yeah. Because back in the day, this would have been like, oh god, like they've, <laughs> oh, they've ended his career, but now it's just like midway through the match and they carry on. Yeah. I feel like that's to be his finisher because he's got like his winning kick thing which is fine but I feel like that well I used to like the future shock DDT that he used to do but the yeah. way he used to do it yeah yeah because he used to be like a double underhook DDT but he used to like sort of go down with him and wrap the like wrap his legs around them uh, yeah, to like cool. looks like he's giving them more that gives it more impact when they hit the deck yeah uh, I used to really like that hmm I like I, I, to be honest I'm not a big fan of the cl- the Claymore yeah, I mean, it's fine, but it's like everyone uses the kicks and stuff like it's that. It's like Daniel Bryan when he does that running, does the, it's just exactly the same thing. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not I'm, I'm not a big fan of it as a finisher, but um, McIntyre does do it well, so that's not me discrediting Daniel Bryan, by the way. Daniel Bryan obviously does it well too, but 
Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I, I, I prefer something a bit more meaty for a finisher. Yes, me like, too. The F5 is a meaty finisher. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So definitely. I don't like the coup de gras. I think it's crap. Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense. Like, getting stepped on by a full-grown man would probably do you in. Oh, yeah, it really hurt, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But other people do it, but don't do it as a finisher. True. Yeah, it's weird. Um, so, yeah, it's magical autumn. Uh, go watch it. Uh, ended with uh, Makasai hits like a white noise, last Kelton Cross thingy from the top rope, uh, which Seth kicked out. Uh, got, then got lifted straight up into a power bomb, which is awesome, uh, which he kicked out of again. Then Seth Rollins uh, rolled up McIntyre for the win out of nowhere. Yeah. Uh, kind of a mm, ending, but it's fine. It makes sense. It forwards, it forwards a feud. And yeah, I mean, you get to see this match again, which is awesome. Yeah, for sure. I mean, <coughs> um, I, me. Raw has really good matches every week. There's always a match on Raw that's like a standout, really good match. Mm. Um, these are the matches I want to see. I want Rollins versus McIntyre. So, so you kidding me? That's a great match. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Plus, they, they seem to be given a lot more time at the minute. You know what I mean by that? Like, the, the the matches seem to be given longer to play out yeah, instead yeah. of having like a two minute match where somebody wins with a roll up like it's ridiculous. <laughs> yes, seriously. I know Seth Rollins did win with a roll up, but what I mean is like it the matches happen super quick sometimes. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, cool. So they made the revival backstage. So she wants one more match with the tag team titles. Yeah. With some, uh, special guest referee who won't screw it up, and they get go to Hawkins. I thought it was interesting that they had the revival in a backstage promo with Vince. Yeah, yeah. Especially after sort of everything that's, you know, been said over the last week about the revival asking for the release and all that kind of thing. Yeah, so yeah. I thought it was quite interesting that they did have this segment. From what I've read on Twitter this week, uh, like from various dirt sheets, it does... Apparently, the tag teams were told that there is now going to be more emphasis on the tag team division going forward. Yeah, yeah. Which means they are clearly bricking it about people leaving... It's- because obviously people have asked for their release over yeah. the last couple of weeks or so for one reason or another. Uh, the Revival are a huge asset to the tag team division on Raw. Oh, yeah. Uh, and for me, losing them would be a loss. I can see why they would want to go, but hopefully Vince does make good on his word and there is now more emphasis put on the tag team division moving forward because the tag team division could p- potentially be awesome. Yeah, there's so many good teams in there right now. There's like, like Rudy Gable are excellent, I think. Um, Revival are really good. Uh, the Ascension, give them a chance, they're good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and not getting squashed by bloody, whatever they were, squashed by this week. Yeah. Well, Lucha House Party, was it? Uh, heavy Machinery, I think it was. Oh, Heavy yeah, Machinery. Yeah. Like, that could have been an awesome match, but you just fucking... Uh... It was Heavy Machinery, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, anyway. But yeah, more tag team stuff, please. Thanks. Um... <laughs> Serious stuff, though, not dickhead stuff. Yeah, yeah, good stuff. Uh, so we had uh, Lucha House Party versus uh, <laughs> versus Jinder Hall, Jinder Mahal and the Singh Brothers. Sorry. You remember when Jim Mahal was uh, WWE champion? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that was, that was a good. It feels like it was forever ago now. Yeah. Um, when I saw this match, um, I, I automatically pressed the fast forward button on my remote. <laughs> That's fair. Uh, to be fair, all three like Lucha House Party people on their own are super talented wrestlers who deserve a lot better. Yeah. But... Side note: Grand Metalik had a brilliant match on 205 this week yeah. with uh, Humberto Carrillo, and yeah. it was really, really good. It was awesome. Watched it last night actually. Yeah. Like. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm talking like Andrade Mysterio, good. Yeah, yeah. Like really Metalik, um, like Humberto was stood on the apron, and Metalik sort of ran to and jumped and did like a Hurricane Rana from the apron to the outside. It's insane. Yeah, it was ridiculous. <laughs> that match was really, really good. Humberto Carrillo, by the way, is a really talented guy. Oh, so good. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So yeah. All three guys in the chat by are excellent as a team. They suck. So uh, yeah, break them up, please. Yeah, I just don't <laughs> like it. Yeah, this makes it too. I don't know, too gimmicky. I don't like it. I don't know. I mean, I get that, obviously, there there has to be some stuff for kids in there. But, because, you know, you see the kids and they're doing the Lucha Lucha thing and That's fair. they carry that pinata thing down to the ring with them, sure. <laughs> and I like their t-shirts, which is like a take on the old In Your House oh, yeah. like logo. But to be honest, it does not, the Lucha House Party thing does nothing for me. Yeah. Also, are they all grown beards? <laughs> I don't know, maybe. Seems like it. Lucha Beard Party. Yeah, Lucha Beard Party. Mm. <laughs> this is... Um, so yeah, this match is going on. Uh, Meta League his, uh, hits a spinning backbreaker thing and wins. Yeah, and, it's and weird it. that, um. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they fucked it up. And I think one of the other single brothers was supposed to break up the, the pin and just didn't. Oops. Yeah, so Meta League now wins with his brand new finisher, the Tilt a Whirl Backbreaker. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that he does every week, obviously. Uh, sorry. Remember when Jinder was WWE champion? Yeah. <laughs> so we had, uh, Elias playing some guitar. It's good. He can play guitar good. Yeah, yeah. He can play guitar. He just, uh, you know, sings in the same exact way every single week. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, 
Yeah, I was about to say a song about the Royal Rumble, but it's interrupted by none other than Baron Corbin. <sighs> Again. And Dracula only switched to last week's war? What's going on? It's happened, the exact same thing happened last week. Yeah. <laughs> literally. I think the last, I think the exact same thing has happened on many Raws. Yeah, pretty much. I yeah. think this feud's been going on for ages. It feels like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Uh, so, guess what? They have another match. Oh! And it was alright, actually. It was, it fine. was fine. It was fine. Elias is very over, which is good. Super over. People love him. They really do, and the thing is with Elias, I mean, he's he's done so well to get to the position that he's in now, because when he was in NXT, I mean, I think we've probably gone over this loads and loads of times, but nobody really gave a shit. Yeah, yeah, really. Like, nobody at all. Yeah. Corey Graves used to slam him every week when Corey Graves was on comms for NXT. Yeah. Um, then he went to Raw, and we were all like, okay, he's a bit musclier now. Um, yeah, but then he's he's really turned it around. Yeah. Seriously. I'd like to see him do more. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to see him put the with the IC title, to be honest. I mean, I think yeah. um, him and Lashley could definitely... I could see that happening, to be fair. So I don't, I don't know what is happening with Dean Ambrose now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now he's lost the IC title. But I could definitely see um, Elias going for the IC title against Lashley. I could see that. That'd be awesome. Um, so yeah, this match happens. Um, Baron, um, well, oh yeah, Elias hits his drift away, Vinisher. Um, but Corbin kicks out. Oh, snap. Oh! Um, Corbin hits Elias in the throat while the ref is distracted, which I like. Mm. And hits his end of days and wins. A much needed win for Corbin. Good heel tactics. Yes. Uh, punching in the throat. Um, although, you, s- <laughs> you say that, I mean, like it's an illegal thing, but <laughs> you've said, I've seen, you watched NXT this week, right? Uh, yeah. Like Marcel Bartel uses the, like, the throat chop thing uh, yeah. all yeah. the time. And the, um, what's his name? Back in the day, uh, Umaga used to do a throat, throat Yeah. Thing, so yeah. is it an illegal move or? Yeah, who knows? But it's fine. It's much yeah, yeah, it was fine, yeah. yeah. Um, and that's good. Um, speaking of meaty finishers, by the way, end of days, meaty finisher. Oh, end of days is a real meaty finisher. Yes. And it. It lo- plus, it's different to anything else that you see, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's for me, that's what a finisher should be. Don't get me wrong. If your finishes are sleeper hold, fine. But, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know. Um, Remember Ziggler's finisher with a sleeper hold? Yeah, I know. I mean, <laughs> Piper's finisher move was a sleeper hold for, you know, a, the longest time. Very true. It's like Jake Roberts used to do a standard DDT. Yeah, yeah, true. And if he was to do it now, I'm sure they would still sell it like it was the world's best DDT. But yeah, it's what it is. Yeah. yeah. Fair play. So then we have uh, the moment of bliss with the letter bliss. <sighs> mm. This segment needs to f- uh, fuck off now, to be honest, because yes. it's awful. Yeah, it, it is. It's but, crap. Yeah, it's really crap. But it did have a happy ending, because uh, uh, it announced that she will be in a boy rumble. Yay, which means it's lit, wrestle, no more concussions, and she's all good to go. And hopefully that means no more moment of bliss. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, well, that's good. I'm glad she's uh, healthy and good. Yeah, me too. Because there was there was rumours of her having to retire because of it and stuff like that. Yeah. So, yeah, good. Uh, the Lady Evans comes out. Uh, so a debut, yay, I guess. Uh, says words. Now to see will be in the rumble. And good, neat, fine. Yeah, I like Lacey Evans. Yeah, uh, I think good. she's good. She looks the part. Uh, she's a good wrestler as well. Uh, I think. I think she has potential to be really, really, uh, really, really uh, like a big deal. Yeah, I like it. Uh, you know, former military as well. Yeah. She's good jacked time. as well, man. She's she's like she is jacked. Yeah, yeah. She's awesome. Speaking of big deals, uh, Titus O'Neil comes down. <laughs> well, <laughs> Wonderful down. transition, absolutely <laughs> seamless. Thank you, thank you. Uh, he didn't come down. Actually, in backstage, had a bad, weird backstage segment where he announces he'll be in the Royal Rumble. Who cares? Hopefully, hopefully, he can make the ring without falling over this time. He's probably going to win it. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, according to him, he's going to win it anyway. Yeah. And then while he's doing his promo, he got interrupted by some like backstage dudes randomly, and he was like, "What are you doing?" And then it's kind of ended. Like, okay, what's the point of that? <laughs> <laughs> weird, very weird. Yeah, um, I, uh, I've not cared about Titus O'Neil for the longest time. Yeah. So, uh, oh, the longest time. Uh, I just, I, I just don't care. Yeah, it's like the, the highlight of his career so far has been falling over at the Creator Rumble. Yeah, <laughs> that's, that's it. That's just the highlight. Literally. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so after that, we had the attention on the, on TV. Yay! Yay! Losing to Heavy Machinery in like two minutes. Mm. Boo. Um, I, I mean, I like Heavy Machinery. They're they're funny, but they need they need a bit more than just being funny to get anywhere. Yeah. I mean, well, what what do you make off. of Heavy Machinery so far on the main roster? A bit weird. Yeah. <laughs> a bit weird. Um, I get it. I get it. it's like a comedy thing, but comedy things don't last very long in WWE. So it needs something else after the comedy thing. They need to actually be good wrestlers as well. Thing is, um, like, when they were in NXT, I think they sort of started as that, like with Otis like doing the Meh! noises and stuff like that. Yeah, what noises? Meh! Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, so I, I just, 
I don't think they needed to do the comedy stuff like straight away. Yeah, yeah. I think they could have just come in. I mean, their name's Heavy Machinery. Yeah. That's like a real badass name for a tag team. It's pretty good, to be fair. Um, I mean, he does the worm and all that sort of stuff, and the caterpillar. Please. Oh, worm. sorry, yeah, the caterpillar. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, I like him. I do. Yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how they go. I just don't know. I mean, obviously they were backstage on SmackDown doing weird things, also. Yeah. And Becky drank that. Was that this week? Uh, last week. Oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> Weeks are passing me behind, man. They really are. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Chuck it. Yeah, I've got bad with attention. Attention needs some sort of reboot or something. Get him back up in a tag team picture. We could we could do what the whole internet does and go. Let's just go to AEW. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody who's like asked for their release or anything like that, it's like AEW. You just look in the comments, it's like oh, uh, get it, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, so we had uh, the revival versus Rude and Gable for the tag team title match uh, with Claire Hawkins as the special guest referee. Sure. Um, it's good. It started pretty good actually. I liked um, Rude was denied the tag because he wasn't holding the holding the tag rope at the start of the match, which I thought was pretty funny. See, there's one referee that knows the rules. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm pretty certain Kurt Hawkins would have disqualified uh, Braun Strowman earlier on in the night. Oh, yeah, definitely, yeah. Just... Maybe make him a full-time ref. Maybe, yeah. Why not? Um, so Revival try multiple times to like cheat their way to victory, uh, like holding foot on, foot on the ropes and think, hand on tights and things like that. But uh, he catches him every time. He's like the best referee they've, they've ever had. Yeah. Every time he catches him. It's amazing. Where uh, has he been this whole time? Yeah, seriously. Uh, so Revival gets pissed, hits, hits Hawkins, but Hawkins lets him off, doesn't decue them. Hmm. Mm, um, letting himself down a little bit. Yes, yes. Uh, but then, out of nowhere, Rune and Gable uh, win with Swallow. And it's fine. Um, so then, Rob got pissed, obviously. Uh, beat up Hawkins. But then, out of nowhere, to make the save, it's Zack Ryder. Mm. On TV again. Yay. Um, so yeah, Edge Heads getting back together. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, seems like it. Calling it now. Ryder and Hawkins, your next Raw Tag Team Champions. Ooh. Is it about neck? Maybe. I mean, I'm okay with it because they're both good. <laughs> I like Hawkins hasn't won a match. I know, but he's... he's I don't know. He, he was good. He could be good. <laughs> he was good back in the day. I'm was telling you now that Hawkins' first victory will be them winning the tag team titles. And you know what? Now you've said it, I can't unsee it. So you're probably right, yeah. Uh, Guess what? You heard it here first. Yeah, you heard it here first, folks. Uh, boy. I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I guess. Honestly, a ho- like, it'd be something like Hawkins is the legal man but like he's on the floor or something. Yeah. Um, Ryder hits his finisher, drags Hawkins over the other legal man. One, two, three. Hawkins wins without knowing anything about it. <laughs> and they're the tag team champions. It's like you're right with WWE. So it's just a WWE thing that would definitely happen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, right? He also means I've been watching wrestling for way too long. <laughs> yeah, seriously. Uh, yeah, that's definitely happening. Um, so we have um, <laughs> the main events, which was uh, Wanda Rousey and Natalia versus Shatter Banks and Bailey, which is cool to see Shatter Banks and Bailey team together. Um, well, like it's never happened before. I mean, on main roster. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean? It always happens every week. They're the Boston Hook connection. I guess so. Yeah. But I, I feel like I feel like it's been a while. But you, yeah. you must fast forward an awful lot of Raw. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, they have like matching jackets and shit. Oh yeah, I guess, yeah, I guess so. It's fine. I Finn, Finn doesn't watch Raw. Pass it on. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, um, that's the thing. Um, <laughs> this match called cool Bailey in the mix. Um, Sasha wins with a bank statement to Natalia. Um, but I feel like she had signs of turning heel as well because they held on the bank statement a little bit too long after the match mm. and like she had other signs like she's being like um, she's like grabbed Mike Ward before the match like list down the company to WWE and one of those like handed everything she has it's like heel Sasha is the best Sasha oh yeah for sure like that, her, her and Bailey's feud in NXT was excellent yeah uh, we need more of that more of that uh, I mean Sasha was great in NXT yeah. before all the the hype yeah, like, yeah, she so was like the uh, I think it was what, what were they called yeah. It was like BFF or something uh, like that? Yeah, B- B- beautiful, fierce females, weren't it? Yeah. Yeah. BFFs, yeah. It was Charlotte. like her, Charlotte. Yeah, I was Charlotte, who did one? Uh, and someone remember. else. Yeah, and someone <laughs> else. Um, yeah. 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 Um, I, I can't remember who. Yeah, I'm trying to think now. I think it bothered me. Anyway, I'll look at it later. Um, so, yeah. Um, Bailey and Josh win. Uh, beat Wonder Rousey and Dahlia. Uh, Josh is not going to win at the one, was she? No, 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 no. no. <laughs> one is having that until at least WrestleMania. Well, the rumour is that she's leaving after WrestleMania. I mean, that's what's been doing the rounds this week, because yeah, she wants yeah. to start a family or whatever. Um, I don't know how true this is. Hmm. 
Um, Ronda hasn't come out and denied it, which is surprising. If it, I mean, if it isn't true, I think she would have. But Natalia, not sorry, not Natalia, Nia Jax has retweeted about it. Oh, yeah. As and Becky Lynch has tweeted about it. Oh yeah, I did actually. Good. Maybe it is true. Maybe. Who knows? I, I do think Ronda Rousey will be involved with WWE in some form. Yeah, I mean, Re- it would be surprised if he like, comes back every now and then. It's kind of like the Rock does every now and then. It's like turn up like, hey, I'm Ronda Rousey. I'm going to beat you up now. Yeah. And yeah. <laughs> to be honest, is it a huge loss for WWE? Yeah. I would, I would never. I, would, I mean, I like Ronda Rousey, but I'm not too bothered by it. No, I'm not now. I'm 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 over it. I think there's there's. I'd rather see the women that are already there flourish, yeah, like yeah. bring people up through NXT and you know build a women's division around the really talented women that you've already got. Um, Ronda Rousey's a big name. Yeah, of course she is. But would the Raw? I mean, at the minute, the Raw women's division is going nowhere because Ronda Rousey is the champion. Yes. So Ronda Rousey needs to lose that belt so that the Raw Women's Division can start to to grow again. Yes. So there's a bit of a cut in the video there. It might have, uh, might have pressed a button. But yes. For sure. Uh, I agree. Finn's fucking things up. I am. What happened there? Sure. Anyway, I'll do it fine. Finn happened. Finn That's happened. happened. <laughs> so anyway, that was Raw. Smackdown. Uh, start off with Becky Lynch. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat Asuka at the Rumble and made him at WrestleMania. And Asuka comes down and shouts angrily in Japanese. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then Charlotte comes down and he says, I'm, I'm here too. I'm, I'm important. Guys, right? I'm here. Right. Yeah, yeah. Remember me when I was here? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Asuka attacks, uh, and the fight ensues between Becky and, uh, Asuka. Uh, and Beverly's come down, Jamie Nable comes down to break him up. Good old Jamie Nable. Dependable. Yep, dependable Jamie Nable, formerly of, uh, J&J Security. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, Becky left standing tall, which means Asuka's definitely winning at the Rumble. Um, Are we still using that logic? Probably. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I can see it. Uh, yeah, I don't think... I mean, we're obviously going to do predictions in a bit anyway, but I don't think they'll um, take the belt off her. No. Not just yet. I don't think so. Uh, cool. So that was that. Um, so we had... Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Naomi versus Mandy Rose. God almighty. Mandy Rose is not very good at the wrestling, is she? I think she's Okay. <laughs> But I don't think I, I've never thought Naomi was that good. I think it's better than bloody this. <laughs> bloody hell! Um, sloppy garbage match. Referee distracted. Sonia Deville caused distraction. Naomi gets slammed very lightly into the post, and Mandy just she got slumped some play, but Mandy's wind wins. Covers and wins. Uh, it's bad. It was really bad. Uh, Naomi will definitely eliminate Mandy from the Raw Rumble. Y- yeah. God Almighty. Uh, yeah. I, mean, I don't get off, the feud. Um, I don't understand it at all. It's dumb. Does Mandy actually fancy Jimmy Uso, or is that just does she just really want to beat up Naomi? I don't really get it. It's just so confusing. It who knows, who knows. Uh, so yeah, Jimmy Uso comes down, comes to his wife, and then Johnny Hill just super kicks him in the face. As if no, that's going. That didn't happen, but I, that would have been funny if it had happened. <laughs> yeah, oh, man. would have given this feud a bit more life than <laughs> yeah, what yeah. it actually has. Oh man, can you imagine? Then it's um, like Jimmy Uso versus Naomi at the Raw Rumble. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Um. So we had The Miz, Face Miz, which I don't like. Res- the Miz. The Miz, Res- Cesaro, and it was fine. You like Face Miz? I don't like with Face Miz, no. Oh, you don't? No. no. Okay, right. Um, but it's actually right. It's surprisingly decent. Mm-hmm. Um, bunch of shenanigans, shenanigans galore. Uh, Cesaro wins with like a neutralizer after distraction by Sheamus. I love the neutralizer. It's a good move. Another meaty finish. Another meaty finish. Yes. Yeah, good. Good, good stuff. Uh, Shane attacks after the match with just the worst punches in wrestling. So bad. Um, Sweating like fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Puts Cesaro on the announce table, climbs onto the top rope, but gets uh, thrown off by Sheamus. Uh, Shane needs a brutal looking bro kick. Um, by, uh, oh, it was bad. Yeah, oh. The slow mo <laughs> replay? Yeah. Like, I th- like, looked like Sheamus had killed him. <laughs> yeah, seriously. It was Sorry. bad. It was bad. Ouch. Um, so, yeah, Miz is put on the table, and then Shane Randall slammed through the Miz through the table. Nice. I like it. Cool. Please don't win the Rumble. Please. Oh, they're going to win. No. They're definitely going to no. win. No. I want it. No. Yeah, it's no. going to happen. Hi. Why would they have this match otherwise? Uh, I don't want it. <laughs> <laughs> I want Miz to turn on Shane, um, Shane and then Shane and Miz can fight WrestleMania. I, do I that. don't think people like Shane enough to warrant that happening. <laughs> yeah, but did but they, but they like him enough to have win the tag team titles? Yeah. No? No. Okay, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway, yep. <laughs> so we have uh, AJ, uh, AJ Styles, and Daniel Bryan plays off, um, starring Vince McMahon. Um, he's been getting around a lot lately. He's been on Wars, Smackdowns, whatever. Who? Old, old Vince. I know, yeah. I mean, the old boy's been uh, definitely he's been doing the rounds. Um, yes. Um, so Brian Reeves against the ring, uh, sends a bunch of words. Heel Brian is awesome. Yeah, I mean, he did a really incredible heel promo. Yeah, he did a good promo. So good. Oh my god, so good. Uh, I can't get enough of the new Daniel Bryan. Yeah, it's such a good. I wanted to be WWE champion like for a long time. Oh yes, me too. For sure. Uh, so Edge starts attacks Brian. Uh, goes for the phenomenal forearm, but Brian hides behind the ground. Ooh, nice. Ooh. Um, hits his winning knee finisher and runs off, and then celebrates at the top of the ramp. I like it. Yep. Very cool. Uh, speaking of cool, we then had the match between Samoa Joe and, and uh, Mustafa Ali. Yep. Um, uh, side good. note: Mustafa Ali's um, like video package promo was really, really great. Oh yeah, cool. Really good. Really good. I like him a lot, to be honest. I mean, um, I don't know what you think of this theory, but I think people like Mustafa Ali are coming up um, because next to Daniel Bryan, they look like normal size. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. So you know, like for example, if Ricochet was to come up and he was to go to SmackDown or Raw, but like, now, that's why I think people like Finn Balor are getting more of a chance because, you know, Seth. Again, I know this is this is probably a ridiculous theory, but like Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, similar sizes. Finn, Brock, maybe not so much. Um, so I think you might sort of see a shift of you'll have like the smaller guys on one show, the bigger guys on the other. Yeah, I can see that. That's just 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 a thought that I had, but like Mustafa Ali was obviously a cruiserweight until yeah. very recently when he's come up to. Uh, the main roster, but yeah. Finn Balor technically is a cruiserweight, but he's going for the universal title. So True. I think they may be sort of bringing these guys into the fray who don't look out of place next to the current champions. Yeah, that wouldn't surprise me. Um, Just a thought. Yeah. But that, this match was really good. Samojo was better up with Tafa Ali. Yeah. Really, really good. Uh, Ali had a good showing. Almost had Joe beaten. Uh, goes towards 0 5 4. But uh, Joe was able to counter, locks in his coquito clutch, and Ali uh, tapping, tapping out. But uh, it was good. Good but, match, yeah. Um, a good showing for Joe. And a good showing for Mustafa Ali. Um, but I'm happy for this for you to continue. More of that, please. Yes, more please. Excellent stuff. Uh, so we had a backstage segment with New- the New Day. Uh, Katie Braxton asked New Day if they would eliminate each other at the Rumble. Uh, she had to get asked that every year by someone different. Who's next? Tony Chimmel? And then, then Tony Chimmel walks up and says, hey guys, what do you want? <laughs> yeah. It's really funny. I liked it. Um, isn't it funny that when the New Day aren't involved in the tag team title picture, that they do nothing else but <laughs> backstage stuff? Pretty much, yeah. Like, they are literally doing nothing else at the minute. Yeah. But, but I don't want to see them as part of the tag team division either. Like, yeah. I mean, I, I, no, sorry. Yeah. I, I don't want to see them in the title picture. I don't need it. It's been like the keep for like nearly three years now. Yeah. That's why I give the people a chance, yeah. Not the Miz and Seamus. Uh, the Miz and uh, bloody uh, Shane. Mm. Seamus, but yeah. Shane-mus. <laughs> Shane Miz. Shane, Shane Miz, yeah. <laughs> uh, God almighty. Uh, but yes, then we had the main events, which was the two out of three balls match between Rey Mysterio and Andrade. Andrade. Just Andrade. Andrade now, yeah. Yeah, no no other names. Never had any other names. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, seriously. Yeah, it didn't. I almost used that. Yeah. Um, anyway, this was an amazing match, as, as you can guess. Uh, it's always been amazing. Uh, yep. Always will be amazing. Have, have this every week, at least. Yes, please. So just, just, just every week. Yeah. Until the end of time. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would love that. I mean, um, this was just a really great match. Two guys that have got insane chemistry, yeah. and so good. Um, the thing we, uh, it could have been given uh, a whole heap more time, because with two out of three fours, obviously fours happen in ways that they probably usually would not. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but in this case, it was actually, it was just a, it's just been a really special. Couple, a few weeks with these two going back and forth. Yeah, it's so good. The rumor is, and this is what I've read this week, that they're they're thinking of putting a faction together. Oh yeah, did we that actually. with uh, Rey Mysterio and Andrade, Andrade turning face, and <laughs> drum roll please, Sin Cara, get Yay! in. Good luck, Sin Cara. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but then Sin Cara would immediately turn heel and kill them both. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. bare fists. Yeah, Sin Cara with the leader of the faction. Yeah, of course. Because he's the hardest. Of course he is, yeah. Fact. Yeah, he's going to be he's gonna be beating Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. Fact. We're coming into Royal Rumble, going to win, and facing Brock Lesnar, and winning. Calling it now. Calling it. Sin Cara, Universal Champion. I would love that shit. <laughs> it would be amazing. It, 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 <laughs> it, would, it would be the culmination of all of our 
podcast <laughs> over much, the yeah. years. <laughs> we, yeah. we finally got our wish. Yeah. Sin Cara, the hardest man on the roster, yeah. is the uh, WWE Universal Heavyweight Champion. <laughs> He's so good. Anyway, this match is excellent. Uh, first of all, came from an awesome looking standing power bomb on the top rope. Yeah. So Ridiculous. Good. Ridiculous. How are they alive? Um, the second fall comes from <laughs> Mysterio countering Almas, and he's one, another, another one of those definitely not a pile driver, pile drivers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, oh, it's that move. That, that, that move, that move there from last week. If he's going to keep doing it, they need to think of a name for it, because he can't just be ignoring it every week. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh, um, one, two, three. Okay, that's Ray Mysterio's one. Great. Yeah, it was, uh, it, it, that move, uh, come on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so that was uh, one all. Um, Mysterio hits his uh, West Coast pop. Which, I'm in the which, is cool. which I haven't heard for a while either. Yeah, yeah seriously. I'm pretty sure. Remember when Rey Mysterio first came to WWE and the West Coast Pop used to be he used to like jump from the top rope, but like do a somersault into the Hurricane Rana. Oh yeah, yeah. Madness, madness. Um, so that was cool. Uh, more bang forth, more cool flippy shit. Uh, Andrade hits his damn hammerlock DDT, but Rey gets his foot on the ropes. Nice, nice. Rey hits his six one nine, about to follow up, but then Samoa Joe out of nowhere attacks, and the match ends in a DQ, no finish. Damn, which means. We're going to get this match again. Yay. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure. Turn, or they're going to turn face and make a faction. Yes, that. Yeah. I think <laughs> it's going to be a case of... Because Randy Orton turned up as well, didn't he? Oh, yeah. Randy Orton, he did, did, did have a match. He's still in his pants. <laughs> yeah. Just, just in his, just, I think he just hangs out all the time in his pants. Yeah, yeah. He's like Neville. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or so Puck. Good. Sorry. Puck, yeah. Sorry, sorry, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, AEW. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, so, yeah. That was the thing. Cool. So I think uh, Rey Mysterio and Andrade are going to team up against Samoa Joe and a friend of his. <laughs> yeah, Samoa Joe's friend. And then there'll be another friend, and then Sin Cara's going to come in and beat all of them up. Yes, including Mysterio and Alice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just everyone. And the crowd. Everybody. Probably. Yeah, yeah, and the crowd, and the yeah. yeah. Like, honestly, it's just going to be a, an arena full of people lying down because <laughs> yeah. they've been beaten up, and Sin Cara standing <laughs> victorious in the ring, yes. holding all the belts. There's a pile of bodies, so Sin Cara's standing there with the belts, standing like that. All of the belts, in one <laughs> hand, even the tag team titles. <laughs> yep. And the cruiserweight title. Uh, I think Cara. Uh, so yeah, yeah right now. good stuff. Good. Good, good stuff. wrestling this week again. Very good. Now, I've got to do this beforehand, so I need to bring up the card for um, NXT and... Uh, wait, one more. Just bear with me. So, um, NXT TakeOver Phoenix is tonight. Yes. And I'm excited. Me too. Um, yeah, I mean, NXT was actually good this week. Well, well I mean, NXT good is everywhere. good every week, <laughs> yeah. but... Um, yeah, NXT and NXT UK were good this week. Yeah. NXT UK looks like it's gone back down to one episode per week. Yes. Uh, I don't know if you saw this on Twitter or not, but I'll be bringing back my NXT podcast next week, Yay. which will be on the Games and Grats podcast feed. Excellent. Um, and I'll be covering not only NXT, but NXT UK and 205 Live as well now. Good stuff. Because we cover Raw and SmackDown on here, but I think, you know, as we're going to be sort of doing more stuff, it's right that we cover everything, so uh, uh, that literally takes me 20 minutes to record Sweet. and put out. Good stuff. Because I'm lazy. Yep. <laughs> That's fine. It's all good. All good stuff. Um, cool. So NXT TakeOver. First match we have on here. Um, is it in reverse order I think can't tell oh uh, yeah sure let's get for Matt Riddle versus Cassius oh no this should be really good uh, yes. I mean I quite like this feud I mean obviously the last takeover Matt Riddle squashed Cassius Ono in very quick time like it was like a second wasn't it yeah yeah, just, well, it, yeah. But it obviously <laughs> would have had to be in three seconds but yeah Matt Riddle won anyway and the rivalry's been going on ever since uh, it's nice to see Cassius Ono doing Stop. something <laughs> yeah and Bad actually matches. winning matches yeah yeah so that's really cool. Do I think he'll win this match? No, I do not. Nope. But I think it'll be excellent. Yeah. I think it'll awesome. be really hard hitting. I think it'll be really good. And I think uh, this is where you start to see the rise of Matt Riddle in NXT. For sure. He's cool. Uh, Bro, I like him. Yeah, he's really, really cool. Uh, I like that he ran down in a suit the other week and yeah. still had flip flops on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just lives, lives, lives in flip flops. Yeah, just loves it. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, ex- I'm excited for that match. I love a hard-hitting match, and I think this is exactly what that will be. Yes. And Matt Riddle will win. Uh, yeah, I agree. I'm going to go with Matt Riddle as well. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it'd be great. Yep, really good. Uh, so we have the Undisputed Era versus the War Raiders for the tag team titles. It's quite a tough card to call, I think, NXT TakeOver Phoenix. Yeah. Um, because Undisputed Era, obviously, I mean, Adam Cole has promised that they're all going to hold championship gold all at the same time. Yes. So it looks like Bobby Fish is now a singles competitor. He had a match this week on NXT against the Velveteen Dream, which was absolutely cool. awesome. It's great, yeah. Um, this is really tough to call. I mean, I would think that the War Raiders would win, mm. but 
the War Raiders could also come to the main roster very soon because uh, they are more than ready. Oh yeah, already. They have cool, cool music to worry about. They're super talented, and yeah. Yeah, or the Undisputed Era lose, and they go to the main roster. True. I mean, I expect them to hit the main roster at some point this year. Yeah, wins by me. It's tough. It is a tough decision. Um, I'm going to say that the War Raiders are going to win. Oh, okay. It's so hard to call, though. It is. Um, because you've gone War Raiders, I'll go for Undisputed Era. Yeah, I mean, I don't want Undisputed Era to lose. Yeah, I yeah. really like them. Like, I really love the momentum that they've built. Uh, Roderick Strong, who I've always been a big fan of, uh, he's so awesome and has just adapted to his role as a heel in the Undisputed Era so well. Oh, yeah, he's awesome. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly is excellent. Love those palm strikes that he does. And I, I just think as a as a striking wrestler, there isn't many better in the world than Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah, he's so good. They're all, they're all amazing. Well, um, I would love to see Undisputed Era on the main roster, and I'm having no, I'm having none of this. Adam Cole is a tiny person, and the Undisputed Era won't do anything. Come on. Going back to the previous <laughs> thing that I I said, uh, like Mustafa Ali has just gone to SmackDown. He was a cruiserweight. Yeah. Uh, Finn Balor is going for the Universal Heavyweight Championship. Uh, Daniel Bryan is the current WWE champion. Yeah. Nobody's too small anymore. Yeah. That Land of the Giant stuff is, although Vince knows how to book a big man, that stuff is is very old hat now yeah like Seth Rollins as well has been awesome and yeah, yeah. so yeah. I don't yeah. think Adam Cole and the Indisputed Era will get lost on the main roster if Maybe anything not. I actually think they'll dominate yeah for sure they know what they've got with Adam Cole as well Maybe. I mean he, he was in the Royal Rumble last year he was yeah. uh, got an unbelievable pop and people know Adam Cole WWE know what they've got with Adam Cole great talker great worker uh, just he is the future of WWE yeah he's great so, so good. Yeah. So um, I'm going War Raiders to win, uh, but it's tight. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll go for Undisputed Era. As you say, it could be it could go either way. Um, so it's basically a big guess for me. <laughs> uh, yeah, Undisputed Era because just because. That's the thing uh, with these NXT Takeover cards. Yeah. It, it is so difficult to call. Yeah, really. Like yeah, almost like... every time. Yeah. Uh, so we have uh, Ricochet versus Johnny Gargano for the North American uh, Championship. Yeah, this is another ridiculous another one. one to try and call. <laughs> yeah. Um. I'm fully expecting Ricochet to turn up at the Royal Rumble, by the way. Like, oh, in the cool. actual match itself. That's cool. I've got to argue about who do you think will make the set up at the Rumble this year. Yeah. But, uh, I yeah. think Ricochet will be in the Royal Rumble. Good, good, good shout, yeah. Uh, good just up. because I think he'll do something, like, ridiculous yeah, yeah. in the Royal Rumble match to, like, get him known to people who still, for some reason, don't watch NXT. I mean, come on. Yeah, come on now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Johnny Gargano loses too many matches on takeovers. He does. For that reason and that reason alone... I see Johnny Gargano winning the North American Championship. Uh, yes. So they're doing the so last week, well, this week's NXT, uh, Johnny Gargano and um, Tommaso Ciampa, Ciampa, yeah, yeah, had this little little stare off like, are they going to be going to match together? Ooh, mm. Who knows? Um, I'll, I'll see like him having the NXT title and Gargano having the North American title. Yeah, that being the thing. Um, so yeah, I'm going to say Gargano as well, just because I think we see that being a thing going yeah. forwards, and it'll be awesome. Cool. I'd um, love um, a heel faction of. Tommaso Ciampa, Johnny Gargano, and Kay, uh, Candice LeRae. Oh, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, going up against uh, and then face faction of the Undisputed Era. Oh. Interesting. Something, I, I don't Interesting. know. Yeah, yeah. I like it, I like it. Um, so then we have the uh, women's title match, which is uh, Shayna Baszler versus Bianca Belair. Um, Again, impossible to call. It's a tough one, yeah. So hard to call. Um. Pfft. Shayna Baszler's had it for a while. Um, I can see her. I mean, this seems to be the thing with every takeover. You think, oh, they could go to the main roster. Isn't Baszler like, um, not Baszler, um, Belair's like undefeated still? Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I, yeah, I'm going to go with Baszler for this just because I think, um, but, um, I can't see her losing it just yet. I can't go to the main roster just yet. And I think it's going to be Belair's first loss on NXT. I'm going opposite that I think oh. Bianca Belair will continue to be undefeated and win the um, NXT Women's Championship nice okay um, I see Shayna Baszler getting involved in this Ronda Rousey Charlotte and Becky situation in some way it just seems like it's meant to happen yeah yeah uh, so I see Shayna Baszler appearing on the main roster may- maybe even as early as Monday Mm, because if one of Charlotte or Becky win the Royal Rumble, because it's going to be the Raw Women's Championship that's decided at WrestleMania in the main event. Got it, yeah. Um, 
So I think somebody from Smack, uh, somebody from Raw will win. Sorry, SmackDown will win the Raw Rumble, mm-hmm. but they'll pick to go against Rousey, and it'll either be Charlotte or Becky, it's or good. they go over the ropes at the same time. Yeah. Something like that. Anyway, we'll talk about that in a minute. I like um, and I, th- I think they gang up on Ronda because there's still a way to go until WrestleMania. You still got Elimination Chamber. Mm. Uh, and I see Shayna Baszler coming down to make the save. Cool. I like it. Uh, excellent. So then we have, of course, our main event, which will be Tommaso Ciampa versus Alistair Black for the NXT title. Uh, yes. I said a little while ago that, I don't know if I said it on the podcast or not, I can't remember, but um, I thought Alistair Black would win it Raw Rumble weekend, lose it to WrestleMania weekend, and then come up the night after WrestleMania. Interesting. <laughs> but... I do also think that Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano are going to be champions at the same time. Yes. Uh, and again, this is another really hard one to call, but I'm I'm going to go for Tommaso Ciampa to retain. I still think it's too early for them to take it off him. Yeah. I'm I think sure. he's had it since like the middle of last year now. Yeah, yeah. And it still what? feels like it's too early for them to take it off him. So yeah. I'm I'm going with that. Yeah, I wonder the more we can do with it as well. Like storyline going forwards. Oh yeah, uh, definitely. Yeah. Bring that. I mean, I think Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa is one of the greatest stories told ever in professional wrestling. <laughs> it's pretty good, yeah. Pretty awesome. So it's, good. it's had everything and it's been brilliant. Yeah, so good. Um, and I I can see it continuing and just beco- becoming possibly the best story uh, in professional wrestling. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I wonder if there's anything I want to say before Tommaso Ciampa. I think, yeah, as you say, him and Johnny are both going to have the title at the same time. Yeah. They're going to do the DIY thing, and it's going to be cool. Yeah. Expecting a great show, though. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. Expecting a really great show. Can't wait. Really yep. Um, yeah, so we're watching that. Probably not tonight, because I need to reserve myself for Wimble. <laughs> um, I'll be cool. staying up. Going hardcore. Hardcore. Cool. So, why Wimble? Why uh, try and get the matches up on WWE.com. Here we are. Cool. But yeah, Love big card. Um, right, so the first match on there is oh, United States champion Rusev versus uh, Shinsuke Nakamura as a kickoff match, apparently. Yeah, it's on the kickoff. Um, it's a shame, but Nakamura and Rusev shouldn't be on the kickoff. Let's, be... Let's talk about Nakamura for a minute. Yes. <laughs> what do you think to his year? Weird. He's 2018. <laughs> yeah. Um, it started off okay. Um, you get a lot of hype. We won the Royal Rumble. We won the Royal Rumble, yeah. That was awesome. Uh, went to WrestleMania, which is awesome. And then from there on, it's kind of... Didn't, I think they knew what to do with him. It's like, done, done the main event, uh, but done WrestleMania, done Royal Rumble. Now what? <laughs> so turn him heel. Does an experiment, I think. And it's not been super great. I think he's worked as a heel. I mean, he's great as a heel. He's great as everything. But, but I can't uh, think of a really great match that he's had this year. Yeah. For somebody of his calibre, I don't think he's had... Great matches. No, I don't really get great views or anything really. Has he? Just uh, yeah, maybe. I think views. maybe he's been booked fairly poorly. Yeah, but I don't know. Um, I don't want to say he's been lazy. Well, Nakamura, no, Nakamura's been. I don't think it's Nakamura's fault. I think, as you say, it's booking. I think mostly is the problem. Booking, but uh, again, I think he's capable of putting on much better matches than he has. Interesting. I mean, look at the AJ Styles feud. You, we know what they're capable of. Yeah, yeah. They were given enough time. But they just didn't deliver. Hmm. And AJ Styles always delivers. So who does the finger get pointed at? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think for that reason alone, Nakamura deserves to be on the pre-show. Maybe. Maybe. Um, Rusev, I'm not going to lie. I, I'm not into uh, face Rusev. Yeah, no. He I, I just, I don't deal, I can't deal with it at all. No, I agree with that. Um, I think the Rusev Day stuff is funny, uh, but I don't particularly like... Um, face Rusev I, I don't care for him being the champion I would like him to be champion as a heel yeah me too um, but I, I he's not doing enough for me to really care about the United States Championship at the minute um, and they didn't do a good enough job of it when the last time the United States Championship mattered was when Cena had it oh yeah yeah was when he was doing the open challenge and stuff like that it was awesome that was awesome yeah that's super cool that's the last time I really cared about the United States Championship yeah, same, pretty much. Um, yeah, it's weird, but yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd agree with Breeze. I should be a heel. Um, from, from what I've read, the redesigning the belt. Oh, really? Yeah, it surprised me because it's getting a bit old now, isn't it? Looks a bit. About it for a while. I mean, they, I think they probably need to just bring it up to modern day standards because yeah. obviously the belts are getting really, really nice now. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're nice anyway. The United States title is nice, but but yeah, I'll get that happening. Um, yep. 
Uh, yeah, Nakamura, Nakamura's a weird one, for sure. I do agree he could be ha having good, ma better matches. I do agree his Zayda Stars feud wasn't as good as it could have been. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, do you think maybe it's going to be on its way out this year, maybe? Or on to AEW, but... Yeah. <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah. I mean, he's not young anymore. True. But he's in his, was he in his 40s? I think so. Yeah. yeah I think that's good. Uh, I think it depends on money, whether he stays with WWE or not. Yes. Uh, I think people have it better in WWE than what the internet would have you make out. Because yeah, it does seem like, you know, they get a they, they have a really great time being in WWE. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know. Uh, I don't know if he's on his way out or not. Would he be in a title feud if he was on his way out? Probably not. I would say no. I think he'll stick around. Yeah. But they need to figure him out. Yeah, for sure. I yeah. Think so. uh, he went straight to SmackDown, right? He didn't go to Raw. Uh, yeah, I think so. Think Moving to Raw down. after WrestleMania, give him a fresh lease of life. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Make him out to be a, the, the big deal that he actually is. Yeah, yeah, totally. Put him in public good views. Um, yes, I agree. Right, so now on to that, we have um, the Cruiserweight title match, which is uh, Buddy Murphy versus Akira Dozawa versus Kalisto versus Hideo Itami in the Fatal Hallway. This isn't on the kickoff, is it? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think it is either because I saw it on they were, they were advertising like title matches and stuff hmm. and uh, the United States title had kickoff written in you know the red line underneath Royal and oh, yeah. in between Rumble um, that said kickoff on it but the Cruiserweight title one didn't yeah. so I'm thinking it's main card yeah I hope so it's I hope so too because uh, yeah these four guys are all awesome, awesome. Uh, if it um, is main card then the title's changing hands yeah yeah it's interesting um, um, Hideo Itami for me yeah, it's not They've, even good. He did win his match, his uh, World Back match last, yep. uh, this week. Um, also, he's had the Daniel Bryan endorsement this week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so um, I can see Hideo Itami winning. Yeah, I'm for sure. sure. I think he deserves it, but Buddy Murphy's been really good as champion. Buddy Murphy has been really good, but I think he could. I think they could move him to main roster. True. Um, I'm going to say, I'm gonna say Buddy Murphy for now, but I do think he will lose it to Itami at some point, maybe in like a one-on-one -on -one match. Um which is he wears heels I'm not sure the thing is if he doesn't I'm not sure the thing is if Hideo Itami does win it he doesn't necessarily have to pin Buddy Murphy true true so Buddy Murphy doesn't have to lose and he can still keep his momentum going mm. uh, but I think Hideo Itami they've I mean he's had some terrible luck yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll combine that with some bad booking and some not great lazy work by him <laughs> yeah. um, I think he's had it rough in WWE so far I think now is his time to step up or just go away. <laughs> Better. I, I really like Hideo Itami and I'm really rooting for him and I always have. I could see him on SmackDown as well. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, again, you can fight the likes of Daniel Bryan and he's already had that endorsement from him. Yep, yep. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with Hideo Itami. I just think... I think it's his time. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll go with that. I'll take a bit of for now. Just be different. Uh, but yeah, interesting stuff. So then we have the SmackDown Tag Team um, title match. Uh, the Bar versus The Miz and The Shane McMahon. Uh, one winner there, The Miz and Shane McMahon, no. for the reasons no. that I've been giving since no. uh, since no. this first started happening. No. No. I refuse. No? I mean, you, you're, you're definitely 99% probably right. I want to say The Bar just because I don't want it. No. I don't want Shane McMahon as a champion. Just no. They're going <laughs> to win it, so... No. I refuse to believe. <laughs> Um, so then we have, as I've said about that, so then we have uh, the SmackDown Women's Title uh, match, which is uh, Asuka versus Mega Lynch, of course. Um, I think Asuka wins. Uh, yeah, I think so. I don't know why. Um, well, actually, I do know why, because I think well, I'm expecting Becky to be involved against uh, Ronda, which also involves Charlotte in some way. Yes. And I don't see the Smack. I don't think the match that match itself would need the SmackDown Women's Championship to make it a triple threat with two championships on the line makes no sense anyway uh, and I think that is what it, exactly what it's going to be so I, th I think Oscar retains and yeah has a different challenger for um, Wrestlemania yeah I think so that makes sense as well because then you get two cha women championship matches instead of just one um, so yeah good good stuff I'm going to say the same thing um, while we're on the subject of women's titles uh -huh. um I know you've seen NXT this week, but Io Shirai and Kyrie Sane are a tag team. Oh yeah, yeah. Do you see them as part of this tag team title situation that we're going to that we're having going on in the main roster? Probably, considering they desperately need teams. Yeah, uh, I, 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 as soon as I saw, it, I was like, yeah, yeah. Because right now we've got no icon Iconics, Bailey and Jasha, maybe, and that's kind of it. <laughs> um, Nia and Tamina, I guess. Oh yeah, Nia and Tamina. Um, 
Yeah. Mandy and Sonya. Mm. Yeah, I guess so. So, yeah, there's still, I think, like, four teams, four or five teams. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Eli Soraya and the thing with Jake got saying. Which is awesome, by the way. Yeah, it's very cool. Awesome. Good stuff. Uh, so, we have uh, Wanda Rousey versus Lassa Banks for the War Women's uh, Dial. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, on the right. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> yeah, you can't, can't say anything yet. No, no, and especially if Sasha and Bailey are going to be part of this tag team stuff going on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, cool. So that's that. <laughs> Next one. Um, uh, we'll we'll take the one that's the last. So let's go with uh, uh, Daniel Bryan versus Edge Stars for the uh, WWE Championship. Um. I think Daniel Bryan will win. I think his momentum, is, like momentum, is definitely on his side at the minute. Oh yeah, for sure. So I'm gonna, I'm that's what I'm going for. I'm gonna go for, um, I'm gonna go for Daniel Bryan to win. I don't know what this means for AJ Styles. Yes, yeah, um, but he he will have some sort of marquee match at WrestleMania. Oh yeah, for sure. I think it's time to build a feud between now and WrestleMania. Oh, loads of time, sure. plenty yeah. of time. Well, in the chamber, yeah, haven't we? Yeah, exactly. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, you've got and Fastlane. Yeah, exactly. Wait, is there two? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, of course it is, yeah. WrestleMania's in April, so... Yeah, yeah, that's a good point, yeah, probably, yeah. Of course. I forgot about Fastlane. Yeah. <laughs> Where are they? Come on, it's the fast lane to WrestleMania. Of course it is, yeah, yeah. How could I forget? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I'm going to say Danny Bryan as well, because he's been excellent as a heel, and everyone loves him, <clears> and he's been doing awesome work and awesome matches. So, yeah, more please. Genuinely, I could see Mustafa Ali in the title pitch come WrestleMania. Wouldn't surprise me. Wouldn't surprise me at all. Um, that'd be awesome. Oh god, that'd be so cool! Like, I read really Daniel Bryan versus Mustafa Ali at WrestleMania oh god. Like, <laughs> about three months ago. There's no way I could have imagined this happening. <laughs> I know, right? No way we'd be sitting there going, "Yeah, man, Mustafa Ali's going to win the WWE title." Just, <laughs> yeah. just Great. no. Great how quickly things change, isn't it? Um, yeah, of course. Cool. Then uh, Brock Lesnar versus Balor for the Universal title. Um, I mean, it's Brock, isn't it? But I mean, Brock's going to win, right? <laughs> I mean. I mean well, but they've downplayed Finn Balor so much. Yeah. Is I mean, this to love... make you believe that he could win? Who knows. Who knows? I mean, I'd love Finn Balor to win, obviously. That'd be amazing. But I can't see it, personally. No, I can't. Uh, I think, I think I'd love Brock, it. I really would love it. But yeah. We've still got Brock and Braun. That's still going to be a thing, probably, at some point. Um, the shrug. Who knows? But, yeah, I'm going to say Brock. He's got to be Brock. Yep. But I do think Finn Balor will have a good showing, and that will hopefully elevate him up a bit next, next level. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, I see Finn Balor going to SmackDown, anyway, next um, after WrestleMania. Yeah, I can see that. Um... So, for that, yeah, I mean, I think, um, yeah, Brock, Brock will win. I mean, I, it doesn't make any sense for him to lose it uh, going into WrestleMania. I just, no, I just can't see it. Sorry. Uh, uh, as much as I would love Finn to win it, it just, just isn't going to happen. Yeah, I'd love to win it too. What? Um, so <laughs> I would love to see you as the Universal Champion. Yeah, me too. It'd be awesome. It'd be amazing. <laughs> so good. Uh, and then, then uh, Sin Cara would come and beat me up same. yeah that's also true yeah. I love Finn versus Sin Cara would be amazing though. <laughs> best match ever yep <laughs> um, then we have the of course men's Way Rumble who, who, who's going to win Braun Strowman oh interesting because they have to have that match they, they have to have Braun versus Brock yeah, and so Brock probably isn't going to show up now until Wrestlemania <laughs> true so I yeah. think Braun wins the Royal Rumble and gets his title match at Wrestlemania and then wins it yeah, I mean you're probably right. That's, it's too predictable though. I like I like it when Roy Rumble win it is like someone you wouldn't expect. It's like oh my god, this guy won it. Oh, it's so cool. But at the same time, I don't know who that would be. <laughs> but at the same, but there is a lot of people that could win it. Yeah. I mean Seth Rollins could win it. Dean Ambrose could. Dean, Dean Ambrose won't win it. Um. Yeah, I, don't know. <laughs> Seth, I mean Seth Rollins could win it. Seth Rollins could win it. I mean he's he's been my pick for ages, but yeah. now things have changed. Well, the, the landscape of things has changed because obviously we were expecting Brock versus Braun. True. Who knows? Um, or, yeah, I'll say Seth. This will be different. I'll be Seth. I'm going Braun, even though he's not advertised for the match. <laughs> oh yeah, good point. Um, yeah, that's fair. Um, I can definitely see that. But he's obviously fit enough to wrestle if he's wrestling Finn Balor. True. <laughs> so yeah, it's weird, isn't it? Yeah, it's strange. Doesn't make any sense. But I think he'll. I think he'll win the Royal Rumble. Cool. Uh, yeah, I'll take with Seth. I think that's good. Good one. Cool. Do we see Reigns? Probably not. Um, I thought we'd have heard some sort of update by now. I know he's filming some TV show with The Rock. TV show? Movie? Movie. Movie. Um, so that's cool. So it's obviously a good sign that it's getting better. Yeah. Which is awesome. Um, but I didn't say it. Not either this year. Maybe next year. Yeah. Hopefully. Uh, but yeah. So what women's rumble? Who's going to win that one? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna, just going to throw it out there and say that Becky and Charlotte eliminate each other at the same time. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Becky loses to Oscar. Becky beats someone up backstage, 
gets a spot in the Royal Rumble. Uh, her and Charlotte are the last two. Uh, they tumble out of the ring together, Bret Hart, Lex Luger style, yeah. and it, it turns into a triple threat at WrestleMania. That's the only thing I can think of. Okay, I'll be okay with that. Uh, I'm just, I'm just going to say Charlotte on her own. Um, I'm just going to win it. I think that that's been moving so long, like Charlotte versus um, Wanda Rousey. Um, you don't think Becky's involved at all? I think she will be. So I think they'll have to have some sort of match. Like if you win at fast lane, you can get input into the match at the the, the, the WrestleManias. I think um, um, maybe. But I think maybe I, th- I think they both go out of the ring at the same time. Then they're they're, they're debating who's gonna f- be the winner in the ring. The Ronda Rousey comes down and says, "Well, we'll all fight." And then that match is made, and that will be the last match at WrestleMania. Probably yeah, the main yeah, event. I'll, yeah, I'll definitely do that thing for sure. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll just say Charlotte, just be different. And uh, yeah, I think Becky's added that late date. Okay, cool. And, um, uh, right, that's let's talk surprise entrance. Who okay. is going to be in the men's Royal Rumble surprise? <laughs> do you think? Uh, we've said Big Show already. I could definitely see that happening. Yep. Um, oh, who else? Who else could we see? Um, any legends come back, you think? No. Like legends bots, like, just like have, I don't know, like Wadi Red, like Wadi Piper and, um, uh, what's his face turn up? <laughs> Fight in the ring. Yeah. Um, I think, yeah. Hogan? <laughs> I mean, don't you know what? That could definitely be a thing. Hogan is, you know, he did come back that time. I could, you know what? I could definitely see that. Hogan, Hogan's <laughs> music plays, massive swerve, and Velveteen Dream comes out. Oh yeah, that'd be awesome actually. Yeah, <laughs> that'd actually be awesome. Um, I don't know. They're not debuting anytime soon. I think Pete Dunne will be in the Raw Rumble. Pete, I think that's really good actually. They're in Phoenix because of, they're recording three episodes of NXT UK over over there. Yeah, it's true. And obviously they're part of that Worlds Collide tournament. Mmm, I like it. But I think Pete Dunne will be in the Raw Rumble. Cool. And I think he'll have an amazing show in. Probably. That'd be awesome. That'd be so awesome. Um, yeah, I'd, I'd fucking mark out for it as well. To yeah, be honest, me too. Yeah, uh, that'd be so cool. Yeah, Pete Dunne. Pete Dunne would be so good. Pete Dunne, Ricochet. Pete Dunne, Ricochet. For potentially Hulk Hogan. <laughs> <laughs> Alistair Black. I think he was in wasn't he last year's Rumble. I don't know. I can't remember. I feel like he was in last year's. Well, Kaylee said this as well, but I don't think he was. Hmm. Andrade definitely was. Andrade was. Yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe Alistair Black. Yeah. Yeah, Finisley. Velveteen Dream. Well, with Team Dream. Hmm. Yeah. Again, like all these, I definitely see all these happening. Like as the Velvet Dream, we could say. Um, but I think it's gonna be all of them. I think it's gonna be just one for NXT, and maybe and Pete Dunne. Yeah. I think that'll be uh, a cool. I mean, how many was from? I mean, Andrade was in it last year. True. Adam Cole was in it last year. Maybe. Uh, he was. Good point. Um. So yeah, I'll say at least Ricochet and Velvet Dream as my two. Okay, I'm going Pete Dunne, Velveteen, and Ricochet. Cool. I like it. Good stuff. What about the women's? Uh, it's okay. weird with the women's, right? <laughs> because the, you don't... I mean, I was, I was talking to Kay about this last night. I was like, I don't mean this to sound like in a bad way, but there's more men that you could have be a surprise than women. Yeah, yeah. Um, there's a lot of spaces left in the women's one, much like there was last year. Uh, yeah, Shane Baszler, I think... You could definitely do it. Yep. Um, can I say? She was in last year's, right? God, was she? Yes. I don't remember. Potentially. I think um, she was. I think Tony Storm will be. Tony Storm might be last year. Yeah. Good point. Because she'll be here for filming NXT UK. Yeah, yeah. And she won the May Young Classic, so people know who she is. True, true. Uh, so I think she'll be in it. Cool. Which will be awesome. Great for her as well. I love Tony Storm. Yeah, she's awesome. I think Rhea Ripley might be as well. Yeah, maybe. Me. They're going to like face up in the ring, turn to The thing is, what I don't want to see is Molly Holly and Ivory and yeah. fucking people like that. Yeah. Lita? Yeah, but again, it's the same. Yeah. You can't keep dragging these people out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. I mean, there will be at least one. I mean, Tory of Wilson will probably be in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I don't want to see that stuff. You know, I want to see, like, I want to see Candice LeRae in there and people like that. You know, I want to see the NXT girls get their chance. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we'll see. That'll be, definitely be so. That'll definitely be like, I, I reckon Lisa and Trish, at least. Probably. Yeah, I, I'm going to go, I think Lisa and Trish will definitely be in there from a Legends yeah. um, perspective. But um, I think Tony Storm and Rhea Ripley will be in it. Cool. Yeah, I'll see that, for sure. I'll be okay with that. And maybe a couple from NXT. Shayna Baszler and someone else. Yeah. There's loads of spots to fill in the women's, more than the men's. Yeah, yeah seriously. Uh, so yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Cool. What do you think to, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, Abyss and Sanjay Dutt have left uh, yeah. Impact and they're on the way to WWE, uh, from what I read, to work at NXT. Interesting, yeah. It's not as wrestlers. No, no, it's just like backstage dudes. 
Um, but yeah, interesting. I mean, I've sort of got, I've got a lot of experience between them. Yeah, I've sort of got a lot to offer NXT. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I think um, Jeremy Borash probably had something to do with their hiring, as he obviously works for WWE now and is heavily involved in NXT and NXT UK. Um, it's a shame because I would have loved to have seen the best wrestling WWE, but he's ten years too late. Yeah, great time. Uh, I would have loved that. Yeah, I think a bit, a bit. <laughs> to be honest, the bit is fucked anyway because I mean he's had so many ridiculous types of matches over the years that yeah. the guy can. He's, he's like Mick Foley, can barely walk. Yeah, yeah, same. Yeah, uh, Sanjay Dutt definitely has a lot to offer. I've always been a fan of his, yeah, uh, so that's cool. Um, impacts on its ass, right? I mean, I thought <laughs> I thought Abyss was a lifer. Yeah, at Impact, yeah, he would be there until the ship went down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I can't see Impact being around for too much longer. TBH. No, neither can I. Um, Especially when AEW does. If <laughs> AEW takes off and gets a good TV deal, um, I don't see Impact surviving in the climate of WWE and AEW in the same space. Yes, interesting. It will. It will. I mean, it's been around longer than it probably should have been. Uh, I mean, it probably should have gone down a while ago, yeah, but true, they still yeah. keep going somehow. Yes. But you know, the TV station bouncing around situation is getting ridiculous. Um. I just, with people jumping ship, especially people like Abyss and Sanjay Dutt who have been involved with the company pretty much since it started, uh, I think that's a shock. And I think I think you do start to see now the slow decline of impact. Yeah, I think Brooke Van Hardy had a lot to do with it staying around for so long. Yeah, because <laughs> that kind of like, oh yeah, TNA that was still a thing. Oh look, Brooke Van Hardy's been. Well, I think even Jeremy <laughs> Borash. I mean, he was a huge part of that company. Yeah, yeah. For so long, um, you know, he had a lot. He had a massive hand in the broken Matt Hardy stuff, well, yeah, with yeah. the uh, the ideas and things, uh, yeah. alongside Matt Hardy. So I don't know. I think Impact now does start to fade away. Maybe not this year, but I think next year. I think TNA uh, or Impact Wrestling is is no more. Yeah. Not that I want to see any company fail, because I no, don't. I don't know. I, but um, yeah. I just I don't. Th- I think the time is coming to an end now. Yes, wins by me. I'll give him thirty six months. Um. So yeah, that's that. <laughs> 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 oh, <laughs> wonderful. wonderful 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 in jokes um, <laughs> speaking of things coming to an end this is the Games and Grabs podcast we are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single Saturday across podcast services everywhere everywhere and youtube.com forward slash games grabs yes look out for us this coming Sunday for the Royal Rumble prediction show on YouTube yes uh, it's going to be good times but for now, I'm Sunny. I'm Vin. And we will see you next time. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thank you much. Goodbye.